Did you know that, according to a recent survey, most Americans spend about $2,743 on vacations each year? Well, imagine if these places that you wanted to travel to would actually pay you to visit there? Well, today on Across the Globe, we are going to be looking at the countries that will pay you to travel there. Travel is clearly important to most people, even if it comes at a financial cost. In fact, over half of Americans report that they prioritize spending money on travel over hobbies, retirement savings, and even home improvements. So, we've compiled a list of several countries that have travel incentives in place that may make your next international trip more affordable than you ever thought possible. So let's get into it. Number one, Italy. With its incredible cuisine, stunning countryside, and vibrant culture, Italy is a great place to vacation. And if I offered you a subsidized trip here, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't turn me down. But that subsidized trip is not just a hypothetical. Italy, in fact, is subsidizing certain types of travel, meaning that you may be able to get a discounted trip to one of the world's most popular travel destinations. There are currently two incentive programs. The first that we're going to look at is in the Sicily region, which is known for its vineyards, beaches, and architecture. This program is offered through the Sea Sicily program and is called Visit Sicily. The program gives eligible tourists not only a free night here, but also an all-expenses-paid excursion like a walking tour or diving trip and 50% off your airfare or ferry expenses. You can sign up through the website, although I will note that there are several blackout months during popular travel times, so you may need to go during off-season to take advantage of this. The second incentive for those looking for discounted travel to Italy is through what's known as Barter Week. That is exactly what it sounds like. During the end of November, this program allows tourists to trade their skills for room and board at an eligible bed and breakfast. Basically, you sign up through the website by typing in your region or city of choice and then submit a barter proposal. According to Travel and Leisure, people have been involved in all sorts of barter arrangements, including knitting, food blogging, or even helping produce olive oil in exchange for free room and board. Number two. France. If traveling to the wine capital of the world sounds appealing to you, look no further than visiting the Bordeaux region of France. However, for the price-conscious travelers among you, on the surface, this may not appear attainable. After all, the average cost of a week-long trip for a couple to Bordeaux ranges from almost $2,500 to nearly $4,000, which would practically eat up your entire annual travel budget if your spending habits are like those of most Americans. But that's where travel incentives come in. Specifically, the Le Refuge Paris-Aubains program allows those visiting this area free lodging for a night in one of eight shelters that are situated on the outskirts of Bordeaux. Considering that the average cost for a cheap hotel in Bordeaux is about $160 a night, this could end up being a worthwhile deal for you. These shelters have all sorts of cool names like The Hammock, the prism, and the high perch that will make total sense to you once you explore the photos on the program's website. On the site, you can not only check out your ideal accommodation, but also find out all the booking details. Before we move on, I will note a couple of things about these housing options. First, the shelters are only open between March and October. And second, they don't have water, electricity, or heat. However, if upscale camping near wine country is your sort of thing, this may be the ideal spot for you. Number three, China. Imagine visiting one of the biggest cities on earth and seeing some of the world's tallest skyscrapers that stretch over 2,000 feet into the sky. Now, picture doing all that while enjoying free accommodations. While this may sound too good to be true, if you're an artist who's looking to travel abroad, this might be just your lucky day. That's right, Shanghai is offering unique benefits for artists. Specifically, if you stay in the Swatch Art Peace Hotel and base your work out of here, you can enjoy free accommodations for anywhere from three to six months. In return, 
you're asked to continue working on your art and also to leave a piece of it behind in whatever form you wish. Plus, it's not just traditional painters or visual artists who are eligible to apply for this program. The Swatch Art Peace Hotel also welcomes dancers, photographers, musicians, writers, filmmakers, and more. After you apply, an international committee will review your application and determine whether to offer you a residency. If you're approved, you'll not only get accommodations at the hotel, but also a free round-trip ticket to Shanghai, help applying for a business visa, housekeeping service, and daily breakfast. In between that daily breakfast and work on your art, you can explore all that Shanghai has to offer. This includes meandering along the city's waterfront district, wandering around the local museums, or spending time at one of Shanghai's many peaceful temples. And of course, there's plenty of great food to try out on top of that. Number 4. Maldives this island community is small at only about 116 square miles and with a population of a little over a half a million people. However, the number of things to do and see here far exceeds its size. For starters, the Maldives is a beach lover's paradise. The pristine, white sandy beaches, turquoise waters, and picturesque palm trees look as though they're straight out of a postcard. You can soak in the sun and enjoy the view of the ocean from the sand or swim, snorkel, or scuba dive in the water, and take in marine life like dolphins, turtles, and brightly colored fish. If you're looking for something to do on land, you can explore the local fish and fruit markets or visit the country's ancient mosque, Pukuru Miski, which was constructed in 1656. One of the most interesting and unique things about the mosque is that the exterior is constructed of coral stone. If you're looking to be pampered, you can visit one of the Maldives spas which use local papaya, seaweed, and pineapple. There's even an underwater spa here called Huwafen Spa, where you can watch fish swimming by as you're enjoying a massage. Okay, at this point, it's probably clear that there's a lot of things to enjoy in the Maldives, and I know what you're thinking. How am I going to be able to afford it? Well, the Maldives, like the other places on this list, is offering some travel perks that can help out those looking to visit. Known as the Maldives Border Miles Program, this is a loyalty rewards program for frequent Maldives visitors. Essentially, you get rewards points each time you cross the border into the country. You'll also get additional points if you stay longer. You'll start out at a basic level, bronze, and if you visit often enough, you can make your way up to the higher tier, gold, which has more perks associated with it. According to the official website, some of the rewards include discounts on accommodations, restaurants, and excursions like scuba diving. So, you can picture this becoming your new yearly getaway. The rewards program may be just what you're looking for. Number 5. Switzerland did you know that Switzerland is considered the most expensive country in the world to visit? Because of this, a trip here might seem unattainable to the average person. But don't give up on visiting Switzerland just yet, especially if you're a collector. I know, that might seem like a bizarre requirement, but hear me out. According to Travel and Leisure, you may be able to get a free stay at the 25 Hours Hotel in Zurich. Here's how it works. The 25 Hours Hotel is a quirky little spot that serves as a pawn shop in addition to a hotel. And to keep up the pawn shop, the hotel is always on the lookout for new and interesting trinkets. That's where you could come in. If you have something that you think could be useful to the shop, you can fill out an inquiry on their website and potentially get a free night complete with free breakfast in exchange for your donation. According to the hotel, the items they're looking for include small furniture items, art, technology, and curios. If the hotel curator approves your item, then you're in for a free stay. In addition to exploring the hotel's pawn shop, there's plenty more you can do in Zurich. You can visit Lake Zurich, which has fantastic views of the city and the surrounding Alps, climb up Etleberg Mountain, or simply roam the streets and marvel at the city's architecture. Number 6. Brazil Have you ever dreamed of traveling to Brazil for Carnival? 
Considered the biggest festival in the world, Carnival attracts almost a million tourists to the city every year. But even if you don't make it to Brazil for Carnival, there's so much else to see here. From visiting breathtaking mountains, waterfalls, and beaches, to enjoying Brazil's music and dancing, you can bet that a trip here will be something that you'll remember for the rest of your life. And if you're looking for a way to do it while saving some money along the way, listen up. Like the program in Shanghai, the beach town of Trancoso has an opportunity geared toward artists. Specifically, the Ushua Casa Hotel and Spa is offering an Artist in Casa program, in which artists can stay for free for anywhere from two weeks to one month. This program was inspired by the history of Trancoso, as the town became a refuge for artists who escaped Brazil's biggest cities during the political and economic turmoil of the 1970s. In exchange for the free accommodations, artists are expected to make some form of art with local materials to contribute to the town's art scene. If you're not familiar with Trancoso, well, it might be Brazil's next big hotspot. Vogue, for instance, recently compared Trancoso to Tulum, citing its breathtaking beaches, bohemian atmosphere, and high-end boutiques. Plus, the fact that major celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio, Beyonce, and Naomi Campbell have been seen here. What about the best countries to visit in Europe? Watch this video to learn about that.